इन माई ट्वेंटीज आई वुड लूज वेट लाइक दिस वैसे ही मेटाबॉलिज्म इतना स्लो हो गया है सो माइट इज वीट यार एक्चुअली डॉक्टर से मेटाबॉलिज्म स्लो है मुझे तो लग रहा है डाइट ही करना पड़ेगा All right guys just stop blaming all your weight struggles on metabolism the conventional wisdom is that after 30 we get what is called the middle age spread we gain weight exercise tends to become pointless and we conveniently blame it on a slowing metabolism isn't it along with this we think that women tend to put on weight easier than men due to slower metabolism added to that are things like menopause and menstrual cycle which are believed to make things worse It turns out everything we thought we knew about metabolism might be wrong. This is according to a new study published in the journal Science. The study is all about what age does to our metabolism. Can we blame age for our expanding waistline? Is there a gender bias in our understanding of metabolism? Let's break it down for you. What is metabolism? Metabolism is how many calories you burn through a day. It is the process by which your body converts what you eat and drink into energy. So how has our understanding of metabolism changed? Researchers analyzed calories used by more than 6600 people aged between 1 week and 95 years old across 29 countries as they went on about their daily lives. More than 80 researchers from different labs contributed to this report. They use what is known as the isotope water technique or the doubly label water method. It's a urine test that involves having a person drink water in which the hydrogen and oxygen in the water molecules have been replaced with their isotopes and then measures how quickly they're flushed out. By calculating how much oxygen and hydrogen you lose per day, you can calculate how much carbon dioxide the body produces every day. That's how we measure calories per day. With this, the scientists were able to measure the total daily energy expenditure, not just the essential calories required to stay alive, which other studies have focused on so far. Analyzing energy expenditures from the large database revealed some surprises. This is what they found. Until age one, calorie burning is at its peak. A one-year-old burns calories 50 percent faster than the body size than an adult. Then our metabolism seemed to gradually slow down by about three percent a year until twenty. There's no real spurt over puberty either. From 20 to 60, that's when our metabolic rate seems to be the most stable. After 60, researchers found that our metabolisms seem to slow down by about 0.7% a year. But the person in their 90s needs 26% fewer calories each day than someone in midlife. The study busted some important gender stereotypes too. The researchers controlled for body size and the amount of muscle people have. They also found no differences between men and women in their metabolism. Puberty, menopause, both had no effect. Even during pregnancy, a woman's calorie needs were no more or less than expected, given the added weight of a girl's baby. The bottom line is that if you're gaining weight in your middle age, maybe you cannot blame metabolism anymore. Metabolism changes with age, but just not as we thought it would. And teens are not big calorie burners either. The study shows the importance of nutrition in infants to grow up to be healthy adults. But more research is needed to better understand the high metabolism of babies. It's also surprising that metabolism changes are similar in men and women. We think gender and hormones affect metabolism, but the study also turns that on its head. Another way that the findings could be useful is in tailoring health treatments to specific people and specific age ranges. Regardless of the new data, regular physical activity, maintaining muscle mass and nutritious diet is the way to go for all of us.